But if you close your eyes Hi guys, it's Rex. So today I'm going to be doing a video called How to Start Cheer Without Even Being Able to Do a Book Up and the Gosh dang it. <laughs> so today I'm going to be doing a video called How to Start Cheer When You Can't Even Do a Cartwheel. So I know what you're thinking. This is a very specific title, but the reason I want to do this video is because I've actually gotten this exact comment or DM so many times. Like, Exactly. How do I start cheer? I can't even do a cartwheel. I really want to start cheer, but I can't even do a cartwheel. I want to tumble, but I can't even do a cartwheel. So I actually have a whole playlist on my channel of tips for beginner cheerleaders, but I thought this would be a little bit more specific. Um, and I hope this video is helpful for you guys and that you enjoy it. And I'm going to go ahead and get started. One thing I would really recommend is before cheering, join a tumbling class. I think this is really common to do before you start cheer. Personally, I tumbled for about a year before I started cheer. A lot of people join tumbling and then through that learn about the cheer program at their gym and join cheer that way. But tumbling is a great starter to join cheer. A lot of tumbling classes also have jumps. If you can't even do a cartwheel, that's fine. Like that's why you go to tumbling class is to learn how to do a cartwheel. That is honestly my biggest tip. If you want to cheer but you have no experience, join a tumbling class. Because not only will you get that tumbling experience and probably jumps experience, but you'll also be able to ask the coaches questions that you have about cheerleading, about stunting, about dancing, about the way that the program works at that gym or just for the sport in general. Um, so yeah, number one tip, join a tumbling class. Okay, so my next tip is pretty specific, but there is an app that I've had since like 2014, 2013, something like that, a really long time. And it's called Cheer RX. Someone actually commented on my video a few weeks ago and mentioned this app. So this is what the app looks like. So if you've never done cheer before, I would recommend clicking level one. And then it has all, I don't know if y'all can see those, all of these skills. So when you click on a skill, it's gonna show you a demo, uh, a demo in slow motion, and then a bunch of drills. So like for the handstand, the handstand has 16 drills. And that's a pretty basic and really important tumbling skill to have. Let's go to forward roll. So forward roll has eight drills, nine drills, nine drills. So I would definitely recommend downloading this app if you want to start cheer but don't have any experience. Go to level one and do those drills and try those tumbling skills on your own if you feel you're able to. And kind of going along with that, drills, I will I will always drill drills, but drills are awesome. Drills are always what I did when I used to tumble. Oh, so sad, I don't tumble anymore. But drills are what I always used to do um, for stunting drills are important, for tumbling drills are important, for jumps drills are important. Look up drills on YouTube, there's so many drills on Cheer RX. Ask coaches about drills and do them at home. Something else to do if you want to start cheer is do your research. More than just looking up how to start cheer on YouTube, um, do your research for gyms in your area, um, tumbling gyms in your area, cheer gyms in your area, talk to your parents about it. Every gym has different teams, different requirements, different costs for different programs. They're all different. Um, I get a lot of comments asking like, do you think I could cheer at this gym? And Honestly, if they're not close to me, I, I don't know. <laughs> it really just depends on like your situation. Um, I would say that there's very few gyms that it's like, oh, you're level one, we're not gonna accept you. There's very few gyms that would say that. Um, they're, they're, that definitely has exceptions, but most gyms have senior ones or now that the junior age is up to 16, that's also an option senior two, senior three, there's lower level, I've said this before, but there's levels one through seven and age divisions many to open so that everybody has the opportunity to cheer no matter gender, age, skill level, anything like that. So do your research for the gyms in your area, maybe ask someone that goes to that gym about it. I know a lot of people join cheer because you know their friend did it, their sister did it, their cousin did it, their mom did it, whatever. Um, definitely do your research, uh, especially say talk to your parents about it. And my last tip is to uh, understand that it's going to take time. Um, cheer is a very complex sport and it takes a lot of hard work. Level one is very difficult. I could never do a front walkover, I could never do a back walkover. The cleanliness the cleanliness it takes in level one is insane. And level seven is hard in a lot of different ways, but cheerleading is difficult, but it's so much fun and it's so rewarding. And that being said, it, it takes time to build skills. It takes time to perfect your cartwheel to move on to a round off. It takes time to perfect your back handstand with a spot before you can do it by yourself. It takes time to perfect your basing technique. And it's also different for everybody. Um, 
So everyone progresses at a different rate and that's totally fine because we all have our strengths and weaknesses. I was able to progress at stunting pretty fast, but it took me a really long time to progress at tumbling just because that wasn't my strength. So it's gonna take time, but you will easily find your strength and you'll find your favorite part of cheer and you'll be able to keep your strength strong and make your weaknesses even stronger. And that's just a really cool part of cheer too is that you can always get better. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any more questions about starting cheer, even if they're super specific, I'd love to hear them and try to answer them for you guys. Um, again, please leave comments below about what videos you want to see so that I can record them and post them for you guys. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye.